Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over the basic procedure of how to do a proper titration. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is to rinse your burette. Simply take your burette, open the stopcock, and pour in some hot water until it's about a third full. Let approximately half of that water drain. Close the stopcock and pour the rest into the sink by rotating the burette, thus coating the inside. Repeat this procedure until you've done it three times with hot water, three times with deionized water, and three times with your solution. This demonstrates a proper setup for your titration. You have your burette filled with your solution, attached firmly to the ring stand with the clamp as shown here. Make sure your clamp is secured tightly. Underneath the burette, you have your waste beaker and your prepared solutions. The stopcock is the white plastic part as seen on the burette. The stopcock is closed when it is perpendicular with the burette. When you are ready to begin your titration, simply remove the waste beaker underneath your burette and place your Erlenmeyer flask with your prepared solution underneath the burette. Once you've done this, make sure that you take your initial reading of the burette, which in this case is 4.94 milliliters. You are then ready to begin your titration. Slowly turn the stopcock until your solution begins dripping out of the burette. With one hand on the Erlenmeyer flask and the other on the stopcock, gently swirl the solution. You do not want solution pouring out of the burette, simply a constant drip, as you do not want to overshoot your endpoint. When you begin to see a change in color, as you see here, turn the stopcock to close and put the solution down. Watch your solution. If it reverts back to its original color, you simply need to add a half a drop or a drop more and it should reach its end point. If it stays that color, as it does here, then you've reached the end point. You can add a half a drop by simply turning the stopcock gently until a drop begins to form at the end of the burette but does not fall into the solution. Simply touch the burette to the Erlenmeyer flask and the drop should fall in. When you have reached your end point, take the final reading, which in this case is 15.01 milliliters. And there you have it, a basic titration. When you're finished, make sure to dispose all of the solutions in the proper containers, generally in the fume hood, Wash all your glassware three times with hot water, three times with deionized water, and return your burettes and glassware to the proper place, making sure that the stopcock is parallel with the burette to allow it to dry properly. Good luck and have fun!